name's Zach, I'm just a simple chef, and today we're going to make shoyu chicken. I love shoyu chicken, I grew up in Hawaii, and it's almost a staple in Hawaii, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make it today. We have chicken thighs here, marinated. I marinated it last night, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that. Me adding the brown sugar, and then I'm gonna add the shoyu. Add about four tablespoons of sesame seed oil. And then we're gonna add about 16 ounces or two cups of water. Place it aside. Grab the chicken, the half a julian onion, the green onion, ginger, garlic. We're gonna add the shoyu mixture we just made so it covers everything. sure it's all stirred up give it a good mix and then we're going to saran wrap it and put it in the fridge all right so to start the dish we have to make rice I use jasmine rice um, I feel like it's a lot fluffier holds a lot of the so show you better and it just it's a nice bodied rice so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make that. Okay, so here I'm going to be adding about four cups of rice. And we're going to wash it really, really well. Until it's almost clear. You really want to work all the grains, get all the water, get it all worked up, and strain it. You're going to have to do this maybe four or five times to really get it clean. And then when we get it all clean, we're gonna use the finger method. We're gonna put our, the tip of our finger into the water till the tip touches the rice and the water should reach the first line on your finger as seen there. Get it in the rice pot, get that bad boy closed, get it turned on, get it working. All right, so after you've prepped the rice and got it in the rice cooker, we're gonna go ahead and prep all of our other garnishes and go ahead and brown the chicken, get it in the pot, get it boiling, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. Okay, so here I am cutting green onions. I'm running the blade along my knuckle so that to not to cut my finger. I'm using my knuckle as a guide. Just working that nice and thin back and forth, getting it all worked up. And then we're going to set that aside and move on to straining the liquid into the cooking pot. Okay, so here I'm straining the marinade into the cooking pot to get the chicken ready to be browned. We don't want them too wet because it'll start to burn on the pan. Get that nice and strained out. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our pot cast iron as hot as we can with some oil and get that chicken browned up. You can see me placing it down there and you can see the smoke coming off, you know it's nice and hot. Yeah. You can see that the marinade has really penetrated the chicken thighs. Get a nice color on them, set them aside to finish the rest of the chicken thighs. Man, do they look good. All 
Alright, so we finished all the chicken thighs. Man, they look beautiful. We're gonna add the rest of the marinade. And get the chicken in there. Get it all covered. Set in there real nice. There we go. Now we're gonna take it, we're gonna put it on the stove. Bring it up to a nice hot flame. Bring it up to a boil. Once we got it to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and skim the top off. Just a little bit, some of the scum from the chicken. Not too big of a deal if you don't do that. And then we're gonna bring it down to a simmer and cover it. Oh, that's looking real nice. So we wanna cook this for probably about an hour and 30 to two hours. I took some of the sauce, put it on the side to cook it down. Oh, the rice is looking really good. Rice cookers make life so much easier. So here I'm gonna plate up the shoyu chicken. Get a little bit of the rice, get it nice and coated. Place a chicken thigh, oh man. Place another one. Get some garnish of the green onions we cut earlier. And there you have it. Nice glaze. Wow. Show you chicken, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So here's the show you chicken. Man, looks delicious. It tastes good. Mm. Let's get into some of that chicken. Falls right off the bone. It's tender. It's got some body to it. Mmm. So good. If you like what you saw here, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscriber button. And I hope you guys try this at home. It's phenomenal. It's so good. It's super easy. Thank you for watching.